Okay, welcome back to another uh, episode of my uh, poetry channel. And today, again, I will do uh, three poems and coming from different aspects of my life and so on. And uh, the first one I want to start with uh, is a reflection on uh, my father, who died in 1999, 21 years ago now almost. And um, this is a little poem uh, about a jacket he wore, which I found in the house um, when I went back. And I suppose he more than wore the jacket. It's almost in his latter years. I think he, <laughs> he didn't sleep in it, but I think apart from that, he wore it every day. My father's jacket. It framed him in that house that listened to virtually every tick of his pulse and registered all the talks of his emotions. That Czech sports coat was him as much as his. In the mosaic of how life is, it was a piece, like the chair at the end of the table and his teacup. Still hanging in his room after he was departed, incongruous, breath of soul, a name with no human upon which to settle. The scuffs of life, Sanskrit of his existence, written in the wear at the collar, beneath the armpits and at the elbows. Dashed with picks and stains, the mundane life weathering, his odours woven into the veins of every waft and warp. Everything but the man. Dismantled frame of being, dissipated essence. Not even a breath to, su to suggest the whisper of his voice. The hibernating in its pockets, the crumpled handkerchief, pens, broken bits, dried scraps and crumbs last moved by his hands. The evidence of life sedimented on the shoreline as the tide recedes into the depth of fallible, fragmented memory, eventually leaving just his name. It's not so easy to read uh, that poem without being uh, emotional. Um, it just goes to show, you know, we, we miss those we love for our entire lives, not just for the moment. The second poem um, I want to read to you is, uh, was renamed The Little Man by my colleagues in Tbilisi. And I think they came up with a better name than I had on it. And it's, it's about um, my rec uh, reflections on a little man who was playing the fiddle on the street in Toronto. Little Man. The Little Man quick sprung to life, his bouncing toes to his full height. Then with life and smile and vim, the bow danced lightly on the string. The notes cast out across our ears, he danced with knees and all his might. His elbow from his toes drew life, his ear it rested on the note. His fingers teased and felt the pulse. And for his time, his precious time, we sat, we worshipped in his spell. Quotidian care, his fiddle quashed, till its haunting resonation stopped. But his note, his act, his given all, will play much longer in recall. So, um, those were uh, two poems, I suppose, that were from some while ago. Although, like everything else, we're always uh, fiddling with them. So now that I've recorded them, I suppose they have to stay fixed. The third poem um, I wrote uh, more recently. Um, and it was uh, towards the start, I suppose, of the um, coronavirus lockdown. And I was out on my bike on the Onabui estuary, quite close to the house. And um, I was on my return to the house. And... I just was stunned by, by the view in front of me and I stopped and took a photograph and uh, later wrote a little poem. Unsurprisingly, I called it The Estuary. 
the estuary. The estuary is serene and all is well here. The water so still it reflects the early morning blue sky. Light to the ends of the spectrum. The banks busily fledging. Last year's remnants. And in my eye and mind, a continuity that brings a peace. An acceptance that I'm a small thing. We are just one species. There is a silent gale someplace, maybe close or maybe far. Like the light beyond my vision, it's there without my seeing. I can be calm in this moment and fill my senses with the beauty of a spring morning. I would not be here but for a crisis. Even in terrible times, our, war, our world is full of glory. So that uh, concludes this episode. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care.